What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Natalie and this is episode 27 of the House Flipper series. How is everybody doing? Hope you guys are all doing well. Hope your weather is nice and fresh and I just want to say thank you guys for joining me in today's episode. And I'm so sorry that I didn't get or I got last episode out late. It's because I've been sick so I haven't been feeling good enough to uh, go ahead and record videos but I'm here now and that's all that matters also i'm stuck but in the last episode we finished up the hgtv jobs at least for now we did and today we're gonna start the luxury jobs so we're doing some new content also i want to say thank you guys for i think it's what 70 plus subscribers so woohoo that's really awesome i'm glad that we are growing in that aspect also i hope that you guys are enjoying watching the series hopefully you guys are and you guys watch it all the way through because that really helps a lot if you guys watch the whole video it's gonna help me grow even more and i really appreciate that i really appreciate all the support that you guys have been showing so far but let's go ahead and get started today i'm on a boat so jimmy took advantage of his father's absence and threw a huge party on the family's yacht he had a great time with his friends, which can be proved by the equally great mess they left behind. Now the young social butterfly needs someone willing to clean it up before his father's return. Fortunately, a world tour he's currently on will go for another week or so. But let's go ahead and accept this job. So I'm excited to start the luxury DLC. This is what I've been waiting for. And I can't wait to get to pets eventually. And you can see in the background that says Moonrise Bay. This is a really nice view. I love the background. I love like the little rocky beach area and just, you know, all the new content that we're going to be going through. It's going to be super awesome. Hey, my yacht. Technically my father's, but let's be honest. It's almost mine at this point. Last night I invited some friends over. The party was epic. I'm quite popular, you see. We had a blast. At least the parts I remember. <laughs> Wait a sec. I've got a message. Told you I'm... Oh no! My dad is coming back earlier! All this mess, he could not see any of it. Everything has to be cleaned as if nothing had happened here. No, no, no! My dad's records! They should be on the wall. You need to find them. They must be somewhere around here. I don't want to get in trouble. I... I know you can save my skin. Please. I'll pay you a little extra if you do help me. You will help me, right? This is called I'm on a Boat. And with this DLC, the Luxury DLC, they started introducing voice acting. So I don't have to read it. And use up my voice because sometimes I get really tired of talking. Like, and doing this. But, uh... Yeah, so um, I'm really excited for this job. And uh, so budget for the job, Moonrise Bay clients can't complain about the lack of money, but even they have to keep their spendings under control. That's why they give you a specified budget to spend on renovating their houses. Remember not to exceed it. All right, so yeah, same old, same old, pretty much the same thing. We got a, you know, a, what you call it, a budget, and we need to not exceed it, which is easier said than done because sometimes they like to change plans in the middle of the renovation, and sometimes it's going to cost more, so, I mean, that's not going to be on me, but sometimes, also, I do make mistakes, like, um, accidentally purchasing some, I don't know, what, uh, let's say, accidentally purchasing, what is it, the scaffolding <laughs> that, when we already had it, they definitely left like a hot mess um lots and lots of trash and lots of cans and dirt unfortunately um this kid is a spoiled brat and he should be responsible for cleaning this up on his own but i mean oh well we're getting paid for it so fine by me all right so oh my gosh this is like are these all doors? Dang. This guy's balling. Balling money. Oh man, he has lots and lots and lots of money. Okay, so let's take let's pick up I don't know why I can't pick up certain trash. I guess I'm just gonna have to sell it. I don't know, but we're gonna pick up all the trash that we can on the top floor. 
Maybe we should work from the bottom up, but nah, I'll work from the top to the bottom. So all this trash needs to go, and then we need to clean up all the dirt. I just realized that you could hear like seagulls in the background. I kind of thought for some reason I thought it was like outside like in the real world and I was just like, huh, seagulls? Like what? But it is not. It is actually in the game and I think that's pretty cool. I think that's a pretty cool touch that they added. It makes it a little bit more lively and it's just already amazing. I like that we're able to have different varieties of like places to live. So like this yacht. I think it's pretty cool and oh man just wait I mean for those of you who haven't seen this oh just wait we're gonna get some cool cool stuff guys like really really cool stuff cool houses um let's go ahead and pick these chairs up for him might as well and let's go ahead and pick this last chair up and go ahead and center it out. There we go. Now we got a little bit more room. Also, I don't know what the heck these are. Maybe they're candle holders. But let's go ahead and strain this out over here. There we go. And then maybe we can strain this out. There we go. All right, look. So we're looking good. We're looking a lot better. Let's go ahead and buy some objects. They want us to buy a new oven and i'm just gonna go with the default and we're gonna put that right here up against the cabinet and we're also gonna buy another fridge mini fridge and we'll put that right there so we're done at the top oh oh shoot it goes up oh my gosh oh okay so i was just working on the bottom the middle floor oh shoot uh oh okay so now we just need to take all the trash again and i assume clean so let's go ahead and do that So it looks like we're done completely on the bottom the middle and the top floor and so let's go down and clean this up okay it looks like that was it for that let's go in this room oh man lots of trash again unfortunately uh i kind of <laughs> see how like we went without really getting any trash for like a while and then now that we have the trash it's just like they throw like a bunch of it at you and it takes forever to get to pick it up sometimes because uh luckily actually they're actually doing um they are actually doing it in groups so it's not that bad but sometimes they will literally just kind of um give it to you and it's like you have to pick it up individually and it's just like so annoying go ahead and put this guitar like that oh that looks good and then let's go ahead and pick up this trophy we could go ahead and strain it out for him and then let's clean up this dirt uh looks like that's all in this room let's go in here oh yeah you need to clean the dirt here this is actually going pretty quick so far so good for that and then we're done in the restroom nothing else we need to clean i don't think we need to pick anything else or strain anything else in that room um so that goes back upstairs let's go in here let's go ahead and clean all this oh my gosh that's a mirror i thought this room was like gigantic and i was just like dang dang that is crazy okay so we could go ahead and put the bike right there and we're not gonna even move that so we're done in this area so what the heck else are we missing oh it goes to this side. oh shoot what have they done to my father's anchor my friends must have played with it at the party and now it's ruined 
All right, so this is going to be a new mechanic that they introduced into the game. So we went ahead and cleaned all the dirt that we needed. And it says to renovate. So we're going to renovate some furniture in this game. You have some tools for that, right? So yes, we're going to renovate this. So it says choose a segment of the furniture to work on. And we're going to go ahead and renovate this anchor. Furniture renovation, we got the shank and we got the stock. So let's go ahead and click on that. Sanding, the first step of renovation is always cleaning the surface of the furniture. Every material requires a specific tool to do that. So now we're just going to sand it. And this is freaking cool. I love this idea that they introduced into this. Must be clean on every side. Okay, Jimmy. Dad cannot notice any trace of those damages. Or I'm a goner. Jimmy, let me do my, my stuff. In renovation mode, you can hold the right mouse button to move the camera around and press Q to flip the furniture. Okay, so flip it. Oh my gosh, yes. Look at this. This is such a cool mechanic that they added. Isn't it freaking cool? And it's a lot It's a lot more fun being able to do it. Like, it's already fun, at least in my opinion. I like watching people do this, but it's even more fun. Wait, what happened to the color? Can you fix it? Dude, can you shut up? Make it look, you know, finished? I'm working on it, Jimmy. Anyway, it's a lot more fun playing it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Choose the finish type, staining and varnishing or painting. So after preparing the furniture surface, you need to choose the finish. Choices may vary depending on the material each piece is made of. So we're not going to be able to make it exactly the same, but... We'll go ahead and make it a brown color for some reason. Um, and we just have to paint it now. Also, we need to go ahead and um, work on the other side. Like this little part right here, I think it's the stock. We need to go ahead and work on that to go ahead and uh, sand it down and also stain it. I wasn't done yet. Okay, so now we're going to work on the little stock. Okay, so now we're going to stain it. I think this was the one that I used. Gosh, that's so cool. Oh no, that's the wrong one. No! Oh no, now it's going to look weird is way better than my dad's thank you you've made it now you can leave the renovation mode by pressing enter and put the renovated furniture where it will present well it will present itself best no no it's gonna be oh just oh whatever okay fine let's go ahead and exit dang it that's not gonna look okay what actually you can't really tell that bad um just don't look at it too closely. Um, we do need to pick up some trash. So we'll go ahead and open these two doors. Actually, let's do this one first. Do we need to do anything here? Oh, we do. We need to clean up the trash. And we also need to clean the dirt. Okay, so we're done in this bathroom. Go ahead and clean the dirt. Actually, let's take out the trash first. That way we have a better clear uh vision of where there is dirt okay so now we're done in this room now what's left is just this room over here first let's go into the good golly he has like he has one gym and then three bedrooms and they each have a bathroom like each bedroom has a bathroom good golly this man is rich i mean this is called the luxury dlc so yeah, we're gonna get even fancier in this one. Um, fancy. Just put a picture of me with a cup of tea in my hand <laughs> and a monocle. No, don't do that. Beck will probably get mad at me <laughs> if <she's> hearing this. <laughs> uh, sorry, Beck. Um, but I think you guys are pretty awesome having your cup of teas and all that stuff. Obviously, you don't have a monocle, but. If he did, I think that would be really awesome. I just picture the Monopoly guy 
with this mustache and the monocle. I just think they're so awesome. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're gonna sell the broken mirror. Oh, this one right here. Okay, and that's it. Okay, so I'm gonna definitely straight this out, straighten this out because my OCD man is killing me. There we go. So that looks good in the hood. All right, so I guess we just complete this already. Yeah, so 100% of the job, we completed it for $2,945.22. And that's it for this episode. It was actually a pretty short episode. So let me know in the comments if you guys are going to want me to do... Um, if they're going to be as short as this one, let me know if you guys want me to do maybe two in an episode. Um, like I said, as long as they're short like this one, I'll be more than happy to do at least two in an episode but if they're gonna be longer then i'll just do the one but let's get ready to vote on what you guys want to see me renovate next all right so new house unlocked complete each job to unlock new houses for purchase and renovation check your laptop in the office to see which houses are available for purchase so that's exactly what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the map houses oh it looks like they only have one they're only releasing one at a- ooh, what was that? Ew, that's so nasty. It's not showing up on the video, so that's good. You guys are not seeing the, like, lag of this when I go up here and stuff. But anyway, it looks like they're gonna be releasing only one house at a time, so I guess just vote on, like, whether you wanna see me do two houses in one episode if they're short. Or if you just want to see one one job at a time. So the next one we're going to be working on is called A New Chapter. Moonrise Bay welcomes Hiroshi and Yuna with open arms. This young couple of computer engineers who both got jobs in town had been looking for a place to make their own. Help came from their friends in the area who offered to sell them their unprofitable printing studio. Now the newcomers just need a little more help with changing into a living space. So that's what we're going to be working on in the next episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments. Um, hopefully you guys watched this all the way through. Thank you for the support. And I really appreciate it. Again, thank you for the 75 or the 70 plus subscribers. I really appreciate it. And I, you know, just thank you for all the support. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day, your night, wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.